Hello, it's me again, Joshua Finn from j and Aerospace, and chances are you're watching this because you have a Carbonet 19 and you would like to know how to fly it. What we're going to do is we're going to start our flight prep by inserting a few sheets of flame-proof recovery water. Typically when you buy Estes engines you will get these, um, but there's a chance you won't. You do not want to launch without it because this, uh, this streamer material is um, polyester and it will melt um, when it's exposed to the, to the heat of the ejection charges. So we use the um, recovery wadding to mitigate that. So we have our accordion style folds on our um, streamer, pack all the, that in with the shock cord, and I give it a little bit of a twist to tension up the shock cord, and that end of things is ready to go. Next we take an engine, um, this is a C67, I recommend if you're going to fly in C's, fly in a C65, uh, two seconds is a little bit long, um, but for your first flights fly on a B64. That's the optimum all-around engine. Uh, it's not super fast. Let you um, let you be able to make corrections. On a C engine, this thing is just a bullet. Now we're going to take this engine. This is a spent casing, so we're not actually loading up a real engine. And we want to add enough tape masking tape, what have you, to this engine that it fits snugly because we do not want the engine to come out at ejection. Alright, so that's a good tight fit. Next, we take an igniter, bend the ends of the igniter over. that igniter in, and we press the igniter all the way in, the answer uh, on the igniters for B's and C's, the purple ones. So. Plug it all in there with that. Being a spent casing, it's all got all kinds of crud in there. Now, before we step any further, I'm going to do something that is going to make people go nuts. And that is, I'm going to take the blast deflector off. The reason we take the blast deflector off is this model spaces the engine so far off the ground that it's not necessary. It actually gets in the way of us having enough useful length on our launch rod. So at this point, I slide this guy on over. And I have a piece of masking tape right here. It is spaced so that we hang right there like so. Let's see if you can back on. So at this point in your loading process, you would, want to, you would want to make sure that you have a control system check um, that the, uh, the aircraft is on and responding to your transmitter. Then you get your um, launch control system here. And if you notice, the ends of my um, control wires are attached to a piece of, um, this is about 1 8 inch piano wire. So I stake this into the ground and I hook my igniter wires up like so. I'm not going to hook it up all the way. You notice we slip down a little bit, but there we go. So at that point, you would do your continuity check by sticking this, um, oh, we'll go ahead and let you see. I'm going to clip them together, that way I don't use up a good igniter. Right. Once we're hooked up, 
plug in, get continuity, check your controls one more time with the transmitter, verify everything's good, and then you or your assistant presses go, holds till it ignites, and, and off to the races. Make sure that you have someone spotting for your, um, for your booster because you're going to have all your attention focused on making sure you keep this glider under control because it's going to be way up there. Uh, the other thing I will mention is right about a second after engine burnout, the aircraft will tend to nose over a little bit. So if you just start dialing in some back pressure on your elevator, and it only takes a little bit, um, and that'll keep it nosing up. And on a four second delay on a B64, the airplane will be just starting to stall out at the point that it ejects. And that'll have you just about perfect. Any questions or comments? Use the comments section below or contact me privately through the JNH Aerospace website at jhaerospace.com. Have fun, be safe, and let us know how, you're, how much fun you're having with your Carbonet 19. Bye-bye.